All right, guys. So getting back to things that I'm taking right now. Um, and this is my second, um, this is my second tub of this. And I absolutely, um, 100% are, I am 100% in love with this product. Um, first of all, the flavor is actually really good. Um, being that it's a, it's an intro workout. So it's got carbs in it. Um, it's a true intro workout. So it's got, it's got your uh, essential amino acids in it, and it's got carbs in it as well. It actually has a little bit of protein in it and creatine. Um, so getting back on the subject that I was talking about before, my previous video um, with pre-cre, so I've been doing a lot more with, with creatine. Um, I take a very small amount, honestly, a very small amount in the very, in the very, very beginning of the morning when I wake up, um, which I'll do a review on. It's just basic creatine monohydrate by, by um, Body Tech, which is a vitamin shop's brand. Um, I take that with, um, like seven grams, roughly. It's hard to say because I take a really big heaping scoop, um, like a tablespoon of, tablespoon or teaspoon, um, of glutamine in the morning. And then I have that with, um, um, a calcium and plus a D supplement, which actually, they're gummy, so they have sugar in it, um, and a protein shake. And the theory behind that, obviously... <clears throat> not just calcium and vitamin D because of the cystic fibrosis. Um, <clears throat> but the sugar will help spike the insulin since I've been sleeping all night and help drive everything into the muscle cells. So um, same kind of theory behind the intra workout. Um, so Sizon's got, um, it's got four different types of carbohydrate sources. Um, so each of them releasing or have different releasing times or time frames. Um, if you will, so... Um, it's got protein in it, essential amino acids, creatine, and a carb. Um, overall, it doesn't get me crazy bloated when I work out at all. Um, it doesn't taste bad. It actually tastes pretty good, um, especially if you put a little bit more water. If you don't put a lot of water in it, it does have that night quilly, grapey kind of flavor. It's really pow It's really powerful. It's almost overpowering. So the more water you put it, the better it tastes. It gets, it gets lighter, obviously, the more water you add. Um, to me, it's not a hard. It's not hard to get it down. Uh, I like to drink fluids, obviously, while I'm working out. I'm not a big fan of water. I just don't care for water. I mean, I make myself drink it all day, every day. But um, it's nice to be able to drink something that's got flavor and flavor with it that actually tastes good um, during a workout. Um, so I started taking this um, right after I got the pre cre. So that's why we're I'm you know halfway through this one. I've gone through. One and a half of the pre crees I'm kind of on the same schedule with both of them. You get 24 servings. It is kind of expensive. Um, it's definitely not something I would say you have to have um, if you're trying to, you know, get in shape, bodybuild, or anything like that on a budget. Definitely not something you have to have. Um, but it's super nice to have it. Um, I'm making really good gains in the gym, and I really honestly think it has a lot to do with my pre, intra, and post workout nutrition. Um, or what I'm taking. So again, you know, I'm not taking your maintenance five grams of creatine per day. Um, I just, I've been reading a lot about creatine and what, you know, someone my size or even bigger or smaller can have during the day. Um, and a lot of the research studies were done a long time ago and they're done on really not bodybuilders per se. So the average person is going to burn through two to three, maybe even four grams, depending on their activity level and what they're doing in the day of creatine. So they're saying that five grams is saturation or maintenance dose, but they don't really take into account the fact of, you know, what people that are bodybuilding are doing in the gym all day, every day. So um, on my lifting days, you know, I get between five and seven grams um, pre-workout. I get about three to five grams intra um, and then post workout, I get another five grams. Um, and typically, like I said, in the, in the morning on non workout days, I'll have a few grams. Um, like I have this little scooper, it's not quite five, a five gram scoop if you do like a heaping scoop. So I don't do that much in there. I dump that in my mouth with some glutamine, like I was saying before. And that's what I have in the morning, um, right when I get up. So, um, I think the amount of weight that I've put on. In the last, um, the last, you know, four or five months without having to gorge myself or force feed myself, um, has been insane. 
Um, I'm waking up in the morning at about 184. Um, and like I said, I'm not force feeding myself like I was before last off season. I'm not making myself eat every night before I go to bed and a bunch of carbs. I don't look out of shape like I did last year um, at this time. Um, everything Everything's going much better this off season. And I think it's, it has to do with the fact that I'm not crazy obsessed with eating a ton of carbs and a ton of protein, but rather really focusing on my pre, intra, and post-workout nutrition. So um, with that being said, you're getting, um, you're getting seven, seven grams of protein. I'm not 100% sure on the creatine content. I believe it's five grams, but I'm not 100% sure. It's creapure. Um, you're getting four grams of carbs. Um, then you get like a small profile of vitamins and minerals um, in there as well. Um, and then you have your amino acids to leucine, isoleucine, and valine. Um, so everything's in there um, that you need for an intra workout, obviously. Um, minus, like I said, I mean, if you're if you're just looking for amino acids, it's not the product for you. This has got your carbs, it's got your creatine, and it's got your aminos, and it's got seven grams of whey protein in it. Um, Mixability, I would give it probably um, like an 8 out of 10 probably. Um, you got to shake it pretty good. I don't like the fact that it foams up a little bit, um, but it is what it is. Um, my glycofuse is the same thing, which is just, it's not really, it's an intro workout carb. It's not anything else besides an intro workout carb, and it's by Gasparine Nutrition. Um, the taste, I give it probably an 8.5 out of 10. It's not the greatest thing I've ever tasted, but it's actually pretty good. Um, and overall, I mean, for what it is, it's got to be a 10 out of 10. It's, like I said, it's definitely changed. It's definitely changed a lot of my, like I said, my workouts are, I'm not as crazy tired when I get done. I don't feel as depleted. Um, strength is going up every single week. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not changing anything. Like my weight's not going up crazy up. I'm not holding a ton of water. Nothing's really changing with the fact that I'm getting stronger and I'm getting bigger. Uh, my body fat is still pretty pretty stable and steady. It's not going up. It's not really going down. It's kind of maintaining. I don't know what it is exactly right now. All I know is that um, I have clear muscle separation everywhere. Um, I still have my abs. Um, I still have my serratus are still showing. Um, I mean, I'm in fairly good shape right now for 184 pounds in the morning. And mind you, last year I got up to 203. That was at night before I went to bed. Um, I'd wake up about 198, 199. Um, so I'm in a lot better shape, like I said, than I was last year. Um, and I think I said a lot that has to do with my pre, intra, and post workout nutrition. So, oh, and this got glutamine in it too as well. Um, forgot to mention that. It does have glutamine in it. So I got glutamine in there. And then um, just really quick, I get my shakes usually at the gym that I go to. Um, which doesn't have much to do with the size on, but I just wanted to let you guys know, um, if you're wondering what I'm drinking after I work out, um, it's five grams of creatine, five grams of glutamine, a scoop of aminos, a scoop of vitamins, um, just like a daily vitamin, um, powder and 65 grams of protein. So that's what I get when I'm uh, post-workout and it's in a smoothie. So it's got sugar in it as well. So that's pretty much it guys. So that is size on. Um, 10 out of 10 for what it is. It's an awesome, it's an awesome intro workout. Like I said, it's not a, what I would consider a staple. Um, and everybody's program has to be a staple because it's just cost wise. It's not, it's not cheap. I think it's the cheapest you're going to find size on honestly is probably 40 to $45. And that's, you know, 24 servings. So a month serving. So that's all I got for size on guys. Um, stay tuned for more reviews.